What's up my fellow soloists, the soloist here bringing you another video tutorial. This video is going to show you how to use OBS, the best settings if your computer is just bugging out, you have a slow computer, all of that there, I will be showing you guys in this video. Anyways, all of that I'll be showing you in this video, the best settings. Guys, I have a super fast computer, or I should be, and I still have some of these issues. If you're like me and you feel like everybody else, the tutorial works for them. You see a hundred, a thousand likes on it, eight dislikes, but for you it doesn't work. I had to figure it out myself. Hopefully this helps you guys out as well. Before I jump into that, there is something I do want to show you guys, is that I do have my second channel up. I'll be putting a lot of resources behind the scenes, um, tutorials, just a whole bunch of things here to help uh, you guys as far as your journey, creating you know 3D animations, things like that for you guys. I've actually, done over about like 120 for 120 animations for different YouTube channels. So definitely check out these videos if you're looking for things like that. Now, for this video, let's get to it. So I'll have to just drag this over here so you see it. OBS, the fun, the fun of it all, okay. So the settings that I have, um, So the settings I do have for OBS, I'll actually show you the specs on my computer first so you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, just to give you a feel, uh, where is this PC at? So the specs of this PC. So I have a 16, pull that back over. I have a 16 gigabyte Intel Core i7 processor, 2.8 gigahertz. As I said, 16 gig, 64 bit operating system. So pretty fast, right? Pretty fast MSI. So you would think I would have no issues whatsoever, but I am having issues. And so these um, settings I have here are for people who are supposed to have a fast computer and running into issues and those that aren't but looking for the best um, settings available. I did try other videos on YouTube, but they didn't work for me, however. And um, the problems that I had, this is for recording, by the way. The problems that I had with the recording is that um, it was using so much of my PC, I would see it run up to like 40%, 50%. And um, you know, when I tried to use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, I ended up downloading, everything was moving so slow. You know what I mean? I couldn't even open up another page without it taking like 30 seconds to actually load, which you know how ridiculous that is. When in fact, when I'm not using OBS, it takes about two to three seconds. So really big issue there. I'm gonna run you through some of the settings that really made the difference. And so this is not the most optimal for gaming. It's most optimal and you'll know that it works. So if you're at the point that I am, these settings work for you. Okay, let's jump into it. In the general settings, I did not want to change the language. Uh, whatever language it is for you. None of the stuff here I really worried about. Uh, you wanna leave that at there. Source alignment, snapping, all of that stuff you're okay with. Streaming, leave that alone. We wanna go to output. So in output, <clears throat> we wanna get to a recording. The first thing you wanna do, and I guess I can't change any of this stuff because right now I'm actually recording. You wanna set uh, the standard type to standard and you also want the output mode to be advanced so i think the other one is basic or simple um, switch that to advanced and you want to have the recording set to mp4 and just really guys just copy the settings that you see here this will guarantee i don't want to guarantee it but this will probably give you the best chance of it to work i know some people have their bit rate especially when they're recording versus streaming upwards of 10 to 50 thousand i dropped that all the way down to 5 thousand Obviously that affects the quality some, but again, at this point you're looking at, you know, getting it to work at all versus, you know, having the best quality. Right now we just want it to work smoothly with the computer that you have. So you want to change the rate control to VBR. Um, for what I've heard, it works best. And so far with the settings that I had, you know, it does. You want to change the bit rate to 5,000 and max bit rate 5,000 as well. The key, keyframe interval, I've set it to five. Uh, usually I have it at zero and I think if you have it at zero, you might want to leave it at zero as a matter of fact. I have it as five here, but I thought I'd change that. So 
you know, I, I assume five works. And you want to keep the preset quality, preset to quality. Okay, so you want it to be higher than performance, Mac performance, uh, low latency and all that stuff. Uh, just keep it at quality. Quality is like the normal, the average. You don't really want to change that too much. And uh, yeah, you just want to leave the rest as it is. And I just want to show you the main thing that I think uh, is causing your issue. And I, it's right here at video. Put it to 1280 times 720. I know we're living in a time where everything is 1080p resolution, where you're gonna have 1980 times, uh, you know, 10, 1920 times 1080, uh, 80p. Guys, scale it back, put it to 10, uh, 1280 times 720, guys. Put it back to that and downscale it to bilinear. You want it to fast, but blurry if scaling, and then put the frame rate to 30 frames per second. Not 29.97, not anything else. Just put it at 30 frames per second. Um, I'm telling you this not out of, you know, I've tried everything else I did and they didn't work. So what I know works is these settings here. I can't really speak to the other things. I'm just showing you guys what it is for me that ended up working. Now, the, one of the major th things right here in the advanced setting is the process priority. I put that all the way down to item. I had that up to above normal. I had that up to high because of the gaming PC that I have. And, um, you know, to me, it just seemed like it was just using unnecessary power. I didn't really see many changes in the performance of what I was doing, you know, as far as streaming or anything like that. I was still getting, you know, some dropped frames and things like that, even though I put it to the highest uh, process priority. So at that point, you know, I decided to put it all the way down to idle and see what it would do. And I found that because it took off that edge on my computer <clears throat> that as far as loading my web pages as far as uh, you know the latencies for my games or anything like that or even just the general computer like I wouldn't be able to open anything even if it was a file um, it would take a long time to open this really helped that out so if you're somebody who's doing uh, tutorials like this one where you're using your desktop or watching a video or reacting and you're getting issues like this this is probably the number one thing you want to change. This alongside of the, the resolution being 1280p versus 1980. Those two things right there should really uh, fix <coughs> most of the issues that you guys are having. Um, as far as the rest of these settings, you know, I can go into all the other ones, but I honestly would be wasting your time um, going through most. Those are the, really the settings that change. So just to recap, you want to change the general settings to product process priority to idle in video you want to change the base and output resolution 1280 times 720 you want both of them to do it you don't want to downscale it because downscaling it will take more uh, processing power which you don't want to do so you want to make sure that they're both the same that they're both 1280 times 720 make sure the frame rate is 30 uh, FPS and downscaling is bilinear audio you know, I know they, they say change that. I put it to 41. Doesn't really matter for this video. And then you want to make sure the bit rate is as low as possible. And then if you want to edge your way up, then do that. I would start at 5,000. I would have the rate control be VBR. And then if it's working after a video test, then put it up to 6,000, 7,000, and then work your way. I left it at 5,000 because for recordings, I'm okay with it. And yeah, guys, so those are the settings that I have. Um, if your thing is not working, you've done tutorials on YouTube and those settings work for everybody else except you, I would really give these settings a try. They're not the most optimal. They won't have the prettiest graphics, but it should get the job done. You guys let me know in the description if this works for you. Um, yeah, I made a couple of videos like this before where I was just showcasing you know, a problem that I had. So if it helps you out, definitely let me know in the comments below if you have any other issues like that. I can see... Um, if I can give it a shot and you know shoot my shot and make another video to help you guys out I'm super active when it comes to answering comments. I'm right there every day. So don't feel free to do that um, And yeah Not much else. Hopefully it helped. Be so we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace